money, obtain it correctly. Proverbs 13 verse 11, wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished, but he who gathers by labor will increase. As we continue talking about money and what the Bible teaches us concerning money, one very important thing about money which the Bible addresses in many places is how we obtain that. You see, uh, in the world today, uh, in our pursuit of wealth and happiness and riches, many people sometimes end up doing wrong things in order to get rich. And of course, many of us want to get rich quickly, we want to you know, come into a place where we are comfortable financially and uh, have a lot in our uh, uh, possession. And so in an attempt to pursue riches, people uh, get into all kinds of wrong things. Um, they go get into corrupt deals, uh, get into taking bribes and all kinds of things. But the Bible makes it very clear here uh, that wealth that is gained by dishonest means will only decrease. So there may be a temporary increase in wealth, but in the long run, it's only going to bring uh, diminish. It's only going to diminish. It's going to cause us to decrease. And instead, the Bible tells us to gather by labor. That means you work. You do uh, what is right. You gain wealth and you gain your money through honest means, through proper ways. You do what is correct and you keep increasing. Proverbs 10 and verse 4 says that the hand of the diligent makes rich. So when you are diligent, you're hardworking, God has promised that and he's indicated there that it's going to enable us to increase. And one more verse there in Proverbs 15, verse 27, He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. That means if you're trying to make a quick um, a uh, quick increase, a quick growth in your money uh, through dishonest means, it's only going to bring trouble. It's only going to cause a lot of problems coming into your life. Uh, but if you and I make the choice that we are going to reject dishonest means to increase wealth and do what is right, he says, look, we're going to enjoy life. We're going to live. We're going to enjoy uh, the entire journey. So I want to encourage you and I, for us to be determined in our hearts and minds, that while we look to God for His blessing of uh, material things and we look to God for increase in riches and wealth so that we could enjoy ourselves and also bless others with it, that we make a determined choice that anything we get, we will get it through proper means. We will do it right. We will choose to walk honestly and through labor, through diligent work, we will grow and we will increase. Do not succumb to the temptation of trying to gain wealth through dishonest means. There will be many opportunities, but you and I must refuse them. Let's be people who grow and increase through proper way, through, the, through doing what is right. God will honor us for that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the instruction in your words that we, through labor, can increase. And I pray, Father God, that in our daily lives and when we go to work, when we uh, do things to earn and increase, we will do it correctly. You will give us the grace to make the right choices, the right decisions, to choose honest means and to refuse dishonesty and dishonest means to make wealth. And that as we honor you, we know you will honor us. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.